Hello all, welcome back. In this video, we are going to start with the first category that is M1, improper platform usage. So what exactly is improper platform usage? An application can be termed to be having an improper platform usage when the application is, use, is misusing a platform feature or failing to use platform security controls. So for example, let's say the application is not maintaining proper platform permissions then in that case it can be termed as improper platform usage. Secondly, if an application is mus misusing touch ID or let's say it's misusing keychain or there are certain violation of guidelines, then in that case as well, we can term that the application has been misusing or the application is not properly using the platform. So it's a demo time and let's check this out by an example. So what I'm going to demonstrate over here is improper platform permissions, how an application can implement improper platform permissions and what are the harm of implementing improper platform permissions. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto our web application called as DVIA and I'm just going to go inside the info.plus file and inside the info.plus file I'm going to scan and over here you can see there's a key called as NS camera usage description and the string for this is that to demonstrate the misuse of camera please grant it permission once this basically means that the application is asking for the device's camera to be used and it appears to be saying that this is going to demonstrate the misuse of camera so NS camera, uh, NS camera usage description might be an improper platform permission that has been set it up by the application. The second improper platform permission that is set it up by the application is the NS app transport security, wherein it has something called as NS allows arbitrary loads for which the value has been set to true. Okay, I'm sorry. Yep. For which the value has been set to true. Now this basically means that the application is going to communicate over HTTP that is an insecure way of communicating and since the permission has been set up for insecurely communicating with the other servers with the other application servers we can term this again as improper platform permission which comes under improper platform usage. So this was a short example of how you can demonstrate or how you can find improper platform usage happening inside an application. I hope you understood this and I hope you will now be able to define whether an application is using an improper platform or not. So that's it for this particular video. Thank you.